the pleasure of speaking with Peter Clausey from CBLT. How are you today, Peter? I'm very well, Tracy. Happy to be back with you. Peter, you have, since we've spoken last, put out results from Shatford Lake, your lithium project. Can you talk to us about those results? Sure. Um, Mother Nature was not kind to us in 2021. Forced fires, then the government took our helicopter, then Manitoba Hydro took our helicopter, then there was an early deep snowfall. But in between all of that, we did manage to take some samples, which proved up in uh, LCT type pegmatite. And in English, that's the kind that we like because it bears lithium. We'll be back at Shatford Lake as soon as the snow is gone, do a sample program, investigate the structural break on the east side of the property. So I'm just going to back you up for a second. When are you moving forward with that project? Just clarify it for me. But now there's a plan already. We just have to wait for the snow to be gone. It's in southeastern Manitoba. and We had a deep snowfall this year. Okay, fantastic. Then in addition to that, you've had a number of projects, of course, because you're well known for saying the pen is mightier than the dollar, actually. Um, and you've recently provided an update on your Syscom deal, gold and lithium. Yep. So why don't we start with an update on your gold and lithium project and the move to the Syscom deal? Okay, so lithium is in Manitoba. We just talked about that. It's beside the Tanko mine. The gold is in the Hemlo Gold Camp near Thunder Bay, Ontario. Our property there is called Big Duck Lake. There are over 40 confirmed mineralization showings at surface, including high-grade zinc to the north, high-grade copper to the south, and the cocoa with stale deposit, which pre-43101, so the usual warnings apply, hosts about 53,000 tons at close to 11 grams of gold per. So we'd like to get back in there, drill some holes, and then compile a diamond, dra diamond drill database and do a formal resource estimate on Cocoa Estelle. We'd like that to get underway as soon as the ground can hold us, which will probably again be late May, uh, early June. And of course, for those of us that have really dug in deep with Syscom Corp, which is a very exciting company with revenue, that was such a remarkable deal, and you've not had a lot of attention about it because I think your audience is just learning about it. So why don't you start by explaining what that deal is, please? We currently own roughly 12% of Syscom. Syscom itself is in the process of becoming a reporting issuer by way of filing a non-offering prospectus. Until they file for that prospectus, we are limited in what we can say about Syscom's affairs. But we can disclose that it's made one acquisition already, is due to close on the second acquisition in the very near future. Those two acquisitions are in the same space. And most interesting, if you call the CEO at Syscom, he will tell you all the things I'm not allowed to. Okay, so for those of you interested in speaking to the Syscom CEO, here's his email. All right, further to that, thank you so much for the update on that, Peter. Many of us know you in the industry. You're a well-respected colleague. Can you tell us what we might be looking forward to in the next uh, quarter or two? And I, you know, obviously, we're going to get some lithium updates and yep. some gold updates. Is there anything else that you can speak to? You're going to be at PDAC, correct? Certainly going to be a PDAC. Um, I'm probably going on the Sunday, even though the show starts Monday, because I'm starting to get invitations to a variety of events. And I have a lot of people that I haven't seen for two years, but I'm looking forward to hugging in person. Um, PDAC is one of my favorite times of year uh, and there are always deals to be done. We have been approached about selling some of our other properties uh, and we're in discussions for that. And there's one property in particular I'd like to pick up if I can work out terms with the vendor. So you've heard it here at Investor Intel, CBLTs, Peter Clausey. And if you want to get a hug, make sure you send him an email now because he's putting a schedule for PDAC today. Thank yes. you, Peter. Thank you for your time, Tracy.